first I'm going to start off with this Ben Nye Spirit Gum. And I'm just going to place that across my knuckle in a semicircle shape. And then I'm going to do one at the bottom of my wrist. And then I'm just going to join up those two semicircles on either side. And then using the back of my knuckle, I'm just going to dab the Spirit Gum. This is just going to make it tacky. And then I'm just going to get a cotton square and with the fluffy side, I'm going to push that against the spirit gum so all the cotton fibers get stuck into the spirit gum. And what this is going to do, this is just going to help the scar wax adhere to the skin. And then I'm going to take the Ben Nye Master Bruise Wheel and I'm going to use this dark red color and light red color. And then I'm taking the Silk Pro Lip Brush. And I'm just going to first take the dark red color and you're going to use that to outline the inside of the cotton circle. And this is just going to create a depth to the makeup. So you're just going to want to outline all inside that cotton circle, not on the cotton, but on your actual skin. And then you're just going to take the red color and use that to fill in the middle of that circle. And then I'm just going to take that spirit gum again and I'm going to dab it on the top and bottom where we're going to stick our fake bones. So you're going to want to make sure it aligns with your actual knuckles so it looks more realistic. And then I'm just going to take three Q-tips and I'm going to cut off the cotton ends and I'm going to stick that in the place where I just put the spirit gum and these are going to be our fake bones. And then I'm just taking this Nose and Scar Wax by Ben Nye in the color Fair and I'm going to roll out four tube pieces. So two of them are going to go on the top and the bottoms to hold down the bones. And then the other two equal length pieces are going to go along the side. And this is just going to be where the start to where your skin has been hacked off. And it's also going to help to mask and hide the bones. And then you're just going to take your spatula with some moisturizer on the end and you're just going to use that to flatten down the edges and blend it into your skin. So you're just going to take your spatula and push down those edges as much as you can, making sure to cover the ends of those q-tips so they don't stick out. And then once you've flattened all the edges, you're just going to take some moisturizer on your finger and you're just going to further blend out and smooth those edges into your hand. Trying to create a, as much of a seamless look as possible. And then you're going to just take your spatula again and scrape off the excess scar wax that you don't need. And then it should look something like this. And then I'm going to take liquid latex, also by Ben Nye, and on a Q-tip, I'm just going to put that all over the scar wax and also on the edges and my skin. What this latex is going to do, it's just going to prevent the scar wax from lifting on or shifting on your skin, and it's going to create more of a seamless edge. And you'll see once the, scar, um, the latex is dry, it comes out clear. And then I'm just going to take the leftover red colors and using 99% alcohol, I'm just going to spray a little bit. And then with a stippling sponge, I'm first going to start off with a darker red color. I'm just going to stipple on 
some ouch parts to the wound. So this is just going to be the bits where your capillaries have broken if you did have an injury um, and also show blood rushing to the surface underneath the skin. So you just want to do that on your skin as well as on the scar wax around the wound. And then I'm taking this Ben Nye Fresh Scab Blood. And as you can see, it's a very thick and gelatinous consistency. And this is great for doing clots or very fresh wounds. So what I'm going to do with the fresh scab wound blood is I'm just going to put that around the tips and ends of the bones and also just clotting it randomly inside the wound itself. And then I'm just going to take this theatrical blood, which is a very runny consistency. And then I'm taking the Silk Pro Taclon Detail brush, and I'm just going to dip that in the theatre blood and just put that all inside my wound. And I'm really going to pack in this blood. And then also you're going to want to stipple some of that blood around your wound. And then using your finger, you're just going to smear it and pat it out. And the reason that we, you want to pack so much blood inside the wound is because you're going to take a spray bottle full of water and you're just going to spray inside the wound. And this is going to thin out the blood further and make it run when you tilt your hand like I'm doing here and you'll see as I point it downwards the blood starts rushing out of the wound and naturally down your hand as it would with a real wound and then once you've done that you've finished <laughs>